praise. Amen. I tell you, just know God, my child, God. Mm -hmm. Faith lies found in faith. We'll see the truth. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Sing with us. Angels, we have burned on high.
last year, she got the man at the spirit of Christmas, you know, and she got some tickles and she got to wash her windshield and she just loves you and kissed you or whatever. Realize that wasn't even her car. You know, but but this this season it causes some people to get stressed and they say it's the most depressing time of the year. Come on. And I can't understand that, but I can when you don't have Christ. Right. When you don't have the reason that they say it's the worst time of the year for people and I know for people going through trouble it is, but we have him as a hope. And as he just saying, I believe, I believe yes, the cross, yes, and I believe something again. Oh. Amen. And I thank you today. I thank you by thank you. thought today. And, and you know, it seems simple maybe to everybody. I don't know. You have to know the whole story. But God said you do it again and again and again. And I don't know how you always do it, but you are so amazing. Yes. And even suddenly you're off like I said in the testimony. He knows what we need before we do it. I just love him for that. I love him because he first loved me, but I love him because he will never change. That's it. And That's he right. has said Sunday night that after the spirit might change us, but it don't change him. Yeah, it yeah. don't change who he is. It doesn't matter what my day went like. It don't change who he is. But if I allow what my day was to change who he is to me, right. then it's my fault. But he don't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I am so thankful.
cross or whatever, and just one gift. Spread one gift for everyone. Amen. Amen.
And now, brother, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. I have coveted no man's silver or gold or apparel. Yea, ye yourselves know that these hands have ministered unto my necessities and to them that were with me. I have showed you all things, how the soul labor ye ought to support the weak, and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. You can be seated tonight in the house of the Lord. Amen. I just read those other verses, but and I'm pretty sure in your Bible it's the same way it is in mine. The last several words to that verse 35 says, It is more blessed to give than to receive. I want to speak to us tonight by the help of the Lord on that simple on this simple thought. Give it away. Give it away. And I, you know, I begin to think about that today and studying and in the time of the season that we're in, you know, it's Christmas. We all understand that. And it's a time where, you know, families get together and, you know, we fellowship one with another. We eat dinner together. We we exchange gifts. We, we love. I, I don't know about you. You know, I, I don't ever have to receive anything. I promise you, I tell my family all the time, don't worry about buying me anything because there's really nothing that I really need. I, I got everything that I need. You know, there's things we always want, but there, there's not anything that I really need to. I've got clothes. i got food, you know, and i I, I got my health. And that's all I really need tonight. Sister Teresa, but in, in this hour, what, what, I, what I want to try to get to us tonight by his help and his grace, in, in this season that we're in, and you know, I thought with anybody here that different ones are probably going to be going to their families over the next few days, and I thought about it, well, you know, a lot of us are probably going to be around some of us, and you're going to be around people that say that, well, I'm sure that I'm born tonight. There, there, there are people that you're going to meet tomorrow, maybe while you're in Walmart. There, there may be somebody you may meet. You may finish up your Christmas shopping. And you run into somebody. And let me add, there may not be an amount of money that you can give them, or there may not be a present that you're going to have for them up under the tree with their name. But Christ has you know, instilled something within us. Christ has, has given us something. That, and what he wants us to do is he wants us to take what he's given us and to give it away. Well, he, he's given us, he, well, he gave us his son, and there's a lot of people tonight that don't have his son. There's a lot of people that don't know his son that, as their Savior. Now, we have experienced that. We have received him as our Savior. So what does he say? What we have in us, uh, he wants us to take that uh, and to give it away. I'll tell you, you will never understand, the, I believe, the fullness of some things in God. Uh, as long as we, as long as I, I don't want to use the word we, as long as I'm all the time wanting to receive and never want to give anything away. Uh -huh. all right. You understand that? Yeah. You know, I, I looked up and you're just trying to write a few things down. That when you give something, you yield it or you present it or you render it to somebody. It's a sacrifice. You pass it on to them. You turn it over. You dedicate it. You grant it. There's a lot of things that you can say about feeding. A lot of things we say about sharing it with one another. How, how, how many likes to share? You like to share? My wife tells me, I even wrote this down so I wouldn't forget it. My wife tells me oftentimes that, you know, I'll pick out about everything. I'll tell you, you know, all the, all the, the vehicles we have, they're all in my name. Every, every single one of them. Even the one we had in the house, brother, but it's in my name. The house and the land, everything we got. There ain't even one thing that she's got in her name, and that's her little Coles card that, that she likes to go and spend some money on. She has to pay the payment on that. But you know what I'm saying? Now, look, but she'll tell me, she said, I'll go ahead and tell you right now. She said, what's yours is yours, and what's yours is mine. So what she's trying to say, it don't matter how I'm looking at it, everything I got is hers. And I'll tell you that I don't mind sharing one single thing. Why? Because that's the kind of heart that, that we need to have, not with just uh, our family members, but there is a lost and a dying world out there tonight that is looking to us uh, to share something with them. Uh, and the Bible said, I read it to you tonight, he said it's more blessed to give uh, than to receive. Now, now I'm going to ask you one more question. How many likes to receive something? How many likes to receive something? That's all right. My, my wife's trying to pull her finger up just to <laughs> if she can get it. I, I'm sure tonight, and I, I know I'm getting a little comical here, but we'll get the point across that I, I, we say many times, I'm sure. I'm sure tonight, and I, 
I might get in trouble by saying this right here, but I'm sure in the next corner of that, if the, the Nesbitts woke up on, on Sunday, on, on Christmas morning, and they all was open in presents, and there was not one present up under that tree for Sister Stephanie, I'm sure, I'm sure that she would have something to say about that. Huh? If Aaron, if Aaron and Olivia and Logan and that, all that was open and gives and Sister Stephanie didn't have that, she's going to say, where's mine at? Where's mine at? She, my wife, you know how, how she does me. She tells me all the time things she wants, and there were times we'll be able to get this and that. I said, honey, you make it really hard to buy a birthday present or a Christmas present because you get it all year long. And she said, well, you don't have to worry about it. And, you know, that'll be my Christmas. I said, you know what? I said, that's hogwash. I said, because if you ain't come on Christmas morning and there's not a present up on that tree for you to unwrap, it's going to be sour cakes all day long for everybody. I'm just shooting that for now. Why? Because we all like to receive. I like, even though I don't want anything, you don't mind receiving something. But how many tonight, have, how many of will make it to a point and say, you know what? I ain't worried about getting a thing. I just want to take what Christ has given me and just to give it away to everybody. I want them, I, I want that one out there in that street to feel the same love uh, that Christ is, uh, has loved me with. Uh, I want to give that away and to let them feel that same love. Uh, I want them to feel that same same peace. How do you do that? Honey, just by what God has given unto me and you to give it away. Honey, there's times that, that there's times you may not have that money or that or that ten dollar bill or that, that five dollar bill. But I'll tell you this tonight. If you just take what Christ has given you and you give it, I promise you it'll never go unnoticed with God. Let me tell you this. I know we don't care and I probably shouldn't say it, but I'm gonna say it anyhow. They didn't just get up, they didn't just get upset. All I said. But I'll tell you this. I appreciate, I, I appreciate in the highest uh, what Hunter and Aaron did Sunday night. Uh, why? Because there were children here that did not have a gift. Uh, but they said, you know what? We can't let those children uh, come over here and not have a gift. Sister Teresa brought extra gifts. Uh, why? Honey, there's something inside them that don't want somebody else uh, to do without. There are a lot of people in this world can care less uh, about what everybody else gets and uh, what everybody else may receive. Honey, as long as they get it, uh, that's all that matters. But honey, that's, uh, that's not how it is for me and you. Honey, I've got to always, uh, I've got to always uh, have that spirit about me uh, that I want to get whatever I want. I want to be able to give it away. I'm sure Brother Bobby's the same way I am. I, I'm not perfect, and I, I thought about it today. I said, you know, there's not a thing like you. Know, you know, he's the only rich man I know in this church tonight. It's him, and ain't none of the rest of us. You know, but I'll tell you, I don't, I don't, I love doing for somebody. I love doing for people. But I'll tell you, sometimes it's a whole lot easier, Brother Bobby, to do for those ones that, that loves you back to those ones that, that will put their arms around your neck and tell you that you love them. But it's a lot harder sometimes to do you for those ones that's out there that you know without a shot of without that said something about you. That one that maybe don't like you. That's the hardest one. But you know what? I, you know what? No matter what happens, and I know we make, you know, we make these things for, for saying what we're saying because the devil likes to, to do those kind of things. But I'll tell you tonight, if we'll learn to do and to give away everything that God has blessed us with, he said, he said, don't tell your neighbor to go and come back tomorrow. If you got it right there, we should go ahead and give it to him now. If you got a hundred dollar bill on you and God told you to give it to me, He don't wait for you to wait till tomorrow and give it. He wants you to go ahead and give it to me now. I thought I'd get amen right there, at least. Right. How, Brother John? How how can I give? I'm gonna read just a few scriptures. I'm not gonna be long. I want you to listen to the book of Matthew, chapter number 25. Verses 34 through 40. You are, if I read them to you, it says this. It says, Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand. That means those ones that made it, those ones that sit there with him, he said, Those on his right hand, he said, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Listen, for I was a hungered, and ye gave me meat. 
I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you come unto me. Then shall the righteous answer and say, Lord, when shall we thee in hunger and fed thee or thirsty and gave thee drink? When shall we thee a stranger and took thee in naked and clothed thee? Or when we saw thee sick or in prison and come unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto thee, Verily I say unto you, in as much. Hey, I look at that and say, in as much. That's three words in one, in as much. As ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brother, you done it up. Oh, let me tell you something. You may look at that person and say, you know, I want to bless you. Honey, you're not, you're, you're helping them out, Sister Teresa, but you are doing it for the kingdom of heaven's sake. Oh, I'm telling you, it ain't that, I don't know about, honey, I'm telling you, there's things that we need to do, not just as a church, as individuals, that we may give what Christ has given unto us. Man, let me tell you, God did his best for me and you. He sent his son at this time of the year, and to give his life, and born in a manger, and honey, I should be able to take what God has given unto me and to give it away. Whatever I got, just give it away. Now, I don't want nobody to steal from it, but I'll tell you this, I don't want them coming by my house and if they need something to ask for it. I know I must struggle, I must struggle this grand and you know, say, you go ahead and keep that. You go ahead and take it and use it. I'll tell you, I don't mind, you know, I like things, but I'll tell you this, I'll do for I'll do without that that my family can have. Yeah. I said, I do without Sister Stephanie. Dear God, I, I might go to Bobby, I guess, with some things. You know why? Because, you know, they, I, I like things too, so I'm not looking at all of them. They say all the time, preach on them. I'm doing, I do that. You know, I, 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 I like to get a new pair of shoes every now and then. Something that looks pretty good. But I might go to Bobby. These ones I've got on the I don't know how long I have them. They're starting to bust out on the side, and I still wear them. You know what? And I just won't go tomorrow and buy another pair because these are I'll keep right on them. I'll keep right on wear them. You know why? Because Russell may need a pair of shoes, or Sister Michelle may need to add that stash she already got. You know, because if she got black ones, she likes brown ones too. And you know what? I I know I'm gonna get fussed at that, but I'll tell you, you know, I, I fussed at her mother I said, you don't need that. You, you don't you don't you don't need the all over it. I, dear God, you got boxes under the bed, you got boxes in the closet, you, got, you don't need all of that. But you know what? I don't mind one bit in the world hey, taking taking what money I go and work for and giving it to them. You know why? Because I love it. They my friend. But honey, let me tell you, it's easy for me to do for her. Why? Because she'll show me that affection back. And now every now and then she'll tell me thank you for it too. But what about that one out there that we don't know? What about that one out there that's in desperate need? They may don't need a pair of shoes. They may don't need a shirt with their back. They may don't need groceries in their house. They may need to feel you love them. They may need to feel you put your arms around them and let them know everything's going to be up. They need to feel that peace. Honey, you got peace. You got peace. We got joy. And honey, we can take what God has given unto us and to give it away. Oh, come on now. I said we can take. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I, I'll tell you, I looked it up today because I always did like the song. <sighs> Michelle says all she writes is poems. They gave her lady, Bill's wife, but she wrote a song, and I like that song because that's the title of it, Give It Away. And I, I didn't write nothing down, but it's the words to the chorus, so I didn't write the verse down, but too much to write. But this is what it says on that chorus. It says, if you want more happy, then your heart can hold. Jesus. Listen to me now. There's a lot of meaning in this thing. If you want more happy, then your heart can hold. If you want to stand taller, if the truth be told, take whatever you have and give it away. Jesus. Oh. Huh? Now, Lord, I'm not giving this away. I like this dress. This is my favorite Right out of Easter Sunday, I'm not giving that to nobody. And you know, saw Sister So and So come in several services with the same old dress on. And it's got a hole down at the bottom of it. You know she needs one. And the Lord's done spoke to him. Why don't you go ahead and give that, give that sister that hole down? I, that's my favorite one, yeah. But let me tell you, I don't know about I don't know how it works for you, I don't know how it works for you. 
When you do something for somebody, then when you give them, it'll make you feel good. It made me feel pretty good the other day. <laughs> you can say, this is, this is very fun. I'm, 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 I'm hurrying. We was in Lowe's, and Joshua, he's got the like him. I was trying to like him, too. And some mornings, I need them. Those energy drinks. I like the ones that don't have no calories or sugar in them. That helps. I leave them more. <laughs> but he got the little yellow ones, and I think Olivia's got, got him on them things. I can't think of the flavor it is. We was in Lowe's, and I seen him. And I got me one, and I got him one. When we went to our head, he said, Thank you. Now, Brother Bobby, that made that made it all the world to me just for to let him, just for him to let me know that he appreciated it. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's times that you done things and you ain't heard nothing. He said, And see to me, I want to know that you appreciate something. I want to know that, that yeah, I, I really, I really, you know. He just said, Thank you. You know what, you know what system that does? It makes it a whole lot easier the next time when you walk in there and give them another. Mm-hmm. But if you go in there four or five times, you buy something, and you don't never hear anything from it, you say, well, you know what the best thing to do is just buy yourself one. That's where we give it away in it. And just drink it right in front of them. I'll teach you. No, that ain't how we do it. You know why? Because I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that just for him. Honey, I'm doing, you're doing that for yourself. You take it once you have, and you're giving it away. We don't want to give anything away. I tell my wife, and I know I've been on her already. Just hey, dear Lord, it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll have something in the house for a couple of years or whatever, and she decides to get something different since the seven. I say, I say, we can sell that thing, and before I know, she doesn't give it away to somebody. I said, well, I know what are you doing? Well, I, I, I just give it to her, so and so. I said, I said, yeah, just take it, just give it away. We'll buy another one. <laughs> what are you trying to, honey, it, 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 it's the spirit. It's, I'm trying to get that. It's the attitude. It's to give whatever you got. Brother Bob, you got family. We all got family that's lost. And there's sometimes, man, with your family, if you're not careful, that, 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 that you're not careful enough, that, that, that the things they do and say, they want to cause bitterness to rise up in your heart. They want to. You cannot lie because no matter what they do, you know what you got, and you got to take what you got and give it to them. I told a gentleman today over the radio at work, and you know they was they, we was talking back and forth, and the, the fellow didn't answer him off the rip, and he said something about it, and he said, "I'm going to forgive you because it's Christmas." So I come across the radio, you know, what's the smart of it? And I said, well, the Bible says you forgive me seven times 70 and not just on Christmas. You know, I said this, this joke with him. Well, did you ever thought about that? Did you ever thought about that one brother Bob that, uh, that woke up slapping in the face and did they do it 490 times? You better forgive them all 490 times, not just one day. Mm-hmm. You say, you're, but the Bible, why? You're taking what you got, you're giving it to them. You're giving it to them mercy. You give them grace. Why? Because the last time you'll say, Hit me one more time. <laughs> you ever been there? Huh? There's two, two kind of people in the world, and I'm one of us. There's two kind of people in the world. There's givers and takers. Mm-hmm. Honey, uh, there's people that are standing there all day long. And give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. But if you got other people, all they ever do is give. Let me tell you, and I, I ain't never been a preacher that really, really preach on this. I guess I might do every now and then. But I'll tell you that if you see, if you see people that's born again believers, they're Christians, but I shout them out. And I'm not saying you want to be rich. You got to have, you know, a mansion on the hillside somewhere. But if they all the time struggling, and they all the time from this to that. There's something wrong. You know what it is? They rob in God. As I heard one preacher say, if you get a thousand dollars, ten dollars is not ten percent of that. 
And if we will listen to it, we wonder why we may be sick. We wonder why we have trouble. Honey, if that's, our, that, that's not even something that we should even question about. I, Sister Carmen shares it with me different times. And she said, she, you know, people say, I don't have it to give, honey. You, you can't afford not to give it. I said, you can't afford not to give it. Honey, you know if you hold that back from him, you're making a curse to your life. Honey, you better give it away. Listen here. I'm, I promise. I have a scripture I want to read. But listen here. I, I wouldn't think it was the man that owns Caterpillar. If I'm not mistaken, I see what it is. I might be wrong. But he owns a big company. And when he started, said the same, you know what he done? He didn't pay God 10%. He paid 9%. You know how big Caterpillar today is, don't you? He took what he had, and he gave it away. And honey, you, as Brother Fulton, you said, you never outgive God. You, I, how do you say he said, if you will, you will bow out of him, you're back going out to you. Take my, I, I wonder, is there anybody, anybody who might say, you know what, now, I, I, I may not have a lot of gifts I can give this year, but I want to take what God's given me, and I want to give it away. I want to give it away to somebody. I want, I want, I want my family. When I'm around them, I want them to feel the love of Christ that comes from my life. I want them to. You know, there is that's true. Now you, you can be in the midst of hell, and in the midst of you know, and they can feel the peace that's in your life. Just why are you letting God be God? Why you're taking what you're God and you're giving it away? I want to give. I like, I, I do. I, I fuss all the time. You know, I, I guess that's just me. I might have got that from you. I don't know. I, I fuss about everything. But it's just, I guess it's just me. Brother Bobby, I, 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 I like giving. I like giving. I like doing it. I like doing things for my family, sister Steph. But let me tell you this. It comes, it goes a whole lot further than that. There's something that God has just, it put in us. We got to take that and give it away. You can't hold all of it up. Let me tell you this. There are people, there are Christian people, this is something they're not really friends of nobody. And this is what they'll say. I don't want to get close to nobody because I don't want to get hurt. I'm not letting myself out to nobody because I'm not getting hurt. <coughs> well, honey, unless you ever give yourself out, you'll never know what love is. Right. Love hurts. How do you know that? You don't think it hurt the heart of God? You don't think it hurt the heart of God when he said, you know what? I sure wish there was something else I had to give, but I'm going to give you my son. He get, he get, he took what he had. He took he took the best thing that heaven had, and he gave it to me. And you. So why don't we take the best thing we got, which is Christ, and give it to everybody else that we come in contact with? I'll tell you, you're going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt now through life, honey. But you will never know what friendship is. You will never know what real love is until you just give it away. You know why you know why it hurts me so bad when my wife busts at me? Because I love her. And she said, now you know better than that. And she, you know, she gets on me about whatever it is, you know. I can probably pass my You know why it hurts? Because I love her. I don't want her, I don't want her getting on me and busting at me. I said, Mama did that. You don't have anybody busting at you, do you? Because this 
not what you give. It's not what you give. It's how you give it. It's how, it's how you bestow it upon them. He said it's more blessed to give than receive. You are blessed if you give. Oh, no. No, I want to receive. I, I want to always give. Everybody, I told them, this is the seven before church. I said, well, we said we'll get another stimulus check in the next week or so. And I said, well, I said, well, I'm, I'm glad you're going to put it down because the less money they give you, the less money you got. Why? Because when they just ain't give it to you, they give it to you. They look at you to get back on it. Let me tell you if, you, if you, if you want to put up a savings account for yourself, you take what you got and you give it for the work of God. And I'm not talking just about money. You take your talent, you give it away. I've shared, don't, don't get ready to come. I, I've shared this, I've shared this with you before, only because, you know, they told me about it. And boys, we work for Billy Aaron out there, you know, planting trees and putting bulk and straw there. And you know, as long as they were running those hedge trimmers and had some of that noise going on, he'd be over there singing his heart out. He was letting it come out. They cut them on trimmers off. They said, he's going to turn up with a cent. Son, I take whatever you've got. Give it away. I'm serious. You say, Brother Tom, that's crazy. No. You don't ever know. I don't ever know. None of us ever know. When, when there's something that we may say, an action we may do, it, I'm telling you, it's the very best. I, I'm telling you, I thought the other night I was going to have a spell. Where was we at, Shell? I, I told him, I thought we was going to have a spell. Where was we at? I wish I could remember. And the woman spoke to us and she Bible said, bookstore. Huh? In the Bible bookstore. Yeah, the Bible bookstore. I guess it's because I thought it was. I don't know. We went to walk out and the man said, she said, I want you to have a miracle. And I, I went shouting out the door. <laughs> Look like Olivia you're walking out of here. I said, dear God, she spoke to me. I said, I, I, hallelujah. I said, she's going to give something away. Oh, I know I'll get, I'll get crucified. <laughs> She's one of the things. She's you not. Know, I'm not like you. I just can't walk up to somebody and just go to talk to them. I said, neither can I. I said, when I walk up to somebody, I'm going to say, how you doing? Strike up a conversation with them. After a while, we'll just be talking. After a while, you're friends. Huh? Why? Because you're taking what you got. Just a conversation, and you're giving it away. Yes. Huh? I, y'all go on. I, I will hold this other scripture later. You know, when Brother Bobby first, Brother Bobby first come to this area, I, I tell you all the time, when he first came up here, never since the seven years of the day, whoa, we didn't like him at all. <laughs> he come across that room. All we want to do is get him in that room so we can beat him up. And the other day, we all friends. You know what? He was going to take what he had and give it away. Huh? We were scared to death. Let me ask you a question. Or let me tell you this. Don't be scared to love people. Don't be scared to love people. <coughs> Don't be scared to, to, to the joy that you feel in your heart about what God has done for you. Don't be scared to share that with somebody else. Give it away. Just give it away. I mean, you, you know that piece you go to bed with at night? That, 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 that you should lay your head on that pillow and everything's all right. And man, there's people that go to bed every night that go to bed and turn off. That piece that you got, share it with others. Share it with them. I'm glad I'm not working with it. You know, I thought about the day and started, and I said, you know, I said, when we first started dating, I realized, you know, we know each other all our lives. It's just there, all I had was a a little old yellow mustard cut turn my off from somebody else. Ain't calling no names. No one the best other name in the world. 
And you know what? Most girls in the day and time we're living in, you got to have them a two-story house with a balcony on it and a hot rod to drive there with you every ever married. Hmm? But I was glad that she was willing to take this a little bit I had. I don't know whether she was ever ashamed of them or not. I don't know if she's ever seen my little kids that they she told them they won't tell me. I promise you. But I shared what a little bit I had. And I thank God. Because he's the how many how many of you? I'm I'm blushing, I promise. I'm gonna tell you now. How many of you have ever just took what you had and you shared it with somebody else? Remember that feeling you had? Man, I felt that, man, you had such a joy in your heart. Man, it felt so good. Even when the times they really didn't receive it. I ain't gonna call a name, but one point it's been years ago. Y'all can stand. I'm gonna stop. I promise. I always had to go people. One time me and, my, me and my wife did something for a lady. And there wasn't long, you know, we gave her some money, get some work done, do the car or whatever. And she got it fixed and bought a month so later. She got rid of it and got her something to eat. And other people said something. Someone had to work. Do what I tell you. That part didn't worry me because that ain't what I did it for. That ain't what I did it for. And I tell you, you don't worry about what you just worry about what you what, what you can do, what what you just get that way. Let me ask you, and I'm 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 not using this as the world uses this term, you know. Take yourself.